Alright, my name is Cairo and I'm pretty new to cryptocurrency investing and things have been going crazy the last week or so. So in my previous video, I made a video about what Elon did to the price of Bitcoin. If you haven't seen that, I'll pop a link down in the description. And that was about some concerns about how Bitcoin is being mined and the energy used to mine it. So naturally, I wanted to dive into that a little bit more and see what the concerns around that were and also see what other prominent players are saying about the price of Bitcoin. Because I, like you, probably wanted to know whether to buy, sell, at what price to buy, what's going to happen, is it going to go up, is it going to go down, which point of the roller coaster are we on. So like I said, full disclaimer, I do have some Bitcoin, so I'll show you what's my little situation like at the moment. Woohoo, I have 0.17 of something. It seems so crazy to have such a small amount of something, but it still cost me quite a bit of money. So that was around 4,700 pounds. So that's probably around the $7,000 mark. And I bought at different price points. I set a whole bunch of limit orders to buy at different prices just in case the price dropped and I was sleeping or something like that. So I didn't want to miss out. Over the last week or so, I've been paying attention and getting crazy alerts on my phone from Gemini whenever there is a big market upswing or downswing for Ether, for Bitcoin and for Dogecoin. Those are the only cryptos that I have at the moment. So getting all these notifications, I was able to buy stuff when the price dropped by 5%, by 6%, by 10% but I'd also set up those limit orders. So let me just show you quickly what my completed transactions were in this time period. The first significant limit order I had was for 2,000 pounds and that was if the price was to drop down to 35,000 pounds because when I first got involved, the price was around 40,000 pounds. I was like, okay, cool. That's a pretty big drop, let me get involved. But little did I know the price was gonna go much lower over the next couple days. So I was paying attention to those notifications on Gemini, price dropped down to 32,000 pounds and then 27,000 pounds. And I put in a bunch more quick limit orders just in case, only managed, only had 200 to spend, I actually had to like move some money around in case the price went further down and managed to buy another thousand pounds at the 24,000 pound mark. Now that meant I was able to average down my buy price so i think starting off it was obviously close to 38,000 but i managed to bring it down to 32,000 over a relatively short period of time i'm not too bummed about that because the all time high is 47,000 so that and then that all time high wasn't too long ago either now i'm sure you've been thinking about this too should you buy more now should you wait is the price going to go down some more so i wanted to see what some of the experts had to say and Kathy Wood from Ark Invest she seems to know what she's talking about and I have invested quite a bit of money, well, at least for me, in the ARK Invest fund as well. So I wanted to see what she was talking about in terms of the price of Bitcoin because she's previously been very bullish on it. The one thing that has changed here, however, is the environmental concerns around uh, Bitcoin in particular have mm -hmm. uh, caused uh, people like Elon Musk to pull away and say, whoa, 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 let, let, me, let me make sure I understand this. And uh, we believe that even this is going to change because first of all, right now, uh, the percentage of Bitcoin mined with renewables and hydroelectric power is quite substantial. I think in uh, China, it's over 50% in renewables. Uh, and we also believe, uh, uh, and we wrote a paper uh, in conjunction with Square on this, and we're going to have a conference about it in July. We believe that Bitcoin mining integrated into the distributed grid, and by that I mean solar roofs, power walls in homes, uh, utilities, merchant power producers, uh, starting to include Bitcoin mining in the ecosystem. Why would they do that? They would do it because renewables are intermittent power sources, right? Weather, is it sunny or not? Wind, is it windy or not? And Bitcoin mining could take off if, it's, if there's excess energy uh, uh, from solar being loaded into power walls, it can be offloaded into Bitcoin mining and the whole ecosystem therefore becomes much more economic. If this happens, we believe that the, the uh, adoption of solar is going to accelerate dramatically because there's another profit center associated with it, Bitcoin mining. Well, 
Oh yes, that makes loads of sense. So basically, if it's really sunny and there's excess power it's being supplied to the grid, first, the grid uses that power to power your home, to charge your car, all that kind of stuff, and any excess is then available for Bitcoin mining. So yeah, they say the logic of the model is optimized first to meet the priority demands of the grid, and then they're saying that the sun's energy will only be used to mine Bitcoin uh, if the demands for the grid are met first. And once that's met, then the model can decide whether it's more profitable to keep energy in the battery for later use by the grid or whether it is to be used for Bitcoin mining. So pretty good idea. And that'll drop the overall cost on the environment as well as financially on mining Bitcoin. And like I said in the previous video, it just makes business sense for Bitcoin miners to go where the energy is cheapest. So that kind of puts Elon's environmental worries to bed a little bit. But I'm still going to do more research, don't get me wrong. Now, what does Kathy think about the overall price? What is her price prediction for Bitcoin? I need to know if I should buy more now or if I should wait if she thinks the price is going to drop further. Uh, you never know how low is low when a market gets very emotional. Uh, a lot of traders see Bitcoin uh, dropping below the 200-day moving average. Uh, which right. is which was at forty thousand. Uh, so traders, once that happened, they just dump. Some just uh, dump and run. Uh, I think we're in a capitulation phase. Uh, Yassin has uh, a dashboard. We were looking at all the indicators this morning. They are all suggesting that we are in the capitulation phase, which is a really great time to buy. Ooh, big word, capitulation phase. So if I remember correctly from my high school English, capitulation is when you kind of just give up. So let's take a look what the actual definition of capitulation phase is here. Right, a market correction or bear market often leads investors to capitulate or panic sell. The term is derived from a military term which refers to surrender. So that is essentially when you are selling at the trough at the bottom right and kind of general investing and business practices that you want to sell high and buy low right so capitulation phase i guess what kathy is saying is that a lot of people are panic selling and that is further driving down the price some investors believe that capitulation is the sign of a bottom so if it is a sign of a bottom is now the best time to buy Bitcoin or is it potentially going to go a little lower or does Kathy think we have hit rock bottom? A capitulation phase is buy. It's on sale. Now, am I saying 35,000 is the low? You know, if traders uh, and there are a lot of speculators in, in Bitcoin, if they are uh, running for the hills just because uh, Bitcoin has broken through a moving average that is important to them. It could continue, but uh, all of our indicators are saying this is capitulation right now. Do you have a low point on your model for Bitcoin? No, these metrics uh, are, are more a, a measure. Uh, are we in a truly capitulation phase? Okay. And it's very detailed. Yassin uses on-chain analysis, which this is the only asset where you can see exactly who's doing what, when, why, and how. Uh, and all of those metrics are saying this is a capitulation. This is as, as bad as it got during the coronavirus crisis. Okay, so she's not saying it's necessarily the bottom, but it's definitely in the panic sell phase or the capitulation phase. And she's saying it is the lowest that it's gotten since the peak of the coronavirus period. So it seems like she's telling us to buy, guys. I don't know about you, but she's telling me to find some money somewhere and purchase while it is still at a relatively cheap price. Kathy's definitely still bullish on Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, as you can see, because in her funds, the sixth biggest position is Coinbase. So, and that is in three of her different funds. Now I bought Coinbase probably a little too early after IPO. It didn't quite go in the direction I was hoping, but I do believe in it for the long term because I do think cryptocurrencies are here to stay and so do you because that's why you're watching this video. So cryptocurrency is definitely part of my million dollar hustle strategy to get to a million dollars within the next three years because instead of keeping any extra money in cash, I'm gonna put it to good use, put it somewhere where I think it can uh, 
help me achieve those goals. So let me know down in the comments what crypto you guys are investing in. So far, I've got Bitcoin, I've got Ethereum, and I've got some Dogecoin. Now, I hope Kathy's right about Bitcoin being in the capitulation phase as well as other cryptos being in that same phase and I hope she is right about the ARK Innovation Fund. As you can see, I've put in about $4,500 into that fund over here. Bunch of Tesla, bunch of Teladoc, bunch of Roku, Square, Coinbase, all that jazz. Now, if you want to get two free stocks, each valued up to $1,850, you can click the link down in the description for Webull. They're giving away those two free stocks and it also supports the channel, which would be really appreciated. And speaking of appreciation, I would love it if you crushed that like button and subscribe for more videos. I'm sharing my journey about buying businesses, buying stocks, buying cryptocurrencies, all these little side hustles to get to my goal of a million dollars within the next three years. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, join me, and the algorithm thinks you're gonna like this video over here. So let's see if YouTube actually knows you as well as it thinks it does. Now I'll see you in that video. Let's hustle together.